Hi guys, so today I'm going to show you how to make Windows 10 look like Windows XP. So you have my download, which is a zip file. What you need to do now is extract it. Extract all to the desktop. And it should be here now, like that. So you can delete that zip folder. Alright, so let's crack on. Okay, alright, so I'm just going to move this out of here because it's going to be annoying. Yeah, there we go, sorted. Alright, so first thing we're going to do is right click on the taskbar. Click settings, and we're going to use small taskbar buttons, and we're also going to combine taskbar only when it's full, like this. Right, and then we want to get rid of the search bar, Cortana, if it still remains. So we'll do there. Search. Right click on Cortana and then go hidden. So you got rid of that as well. Right. So now what we need to do is download Classic Shell. What we want is the latest version, which is the English one, because Windows 10 just came out really so lots of developers have been slow to producing software right so that's done let's install it next I accept yes right all we want is classic start menu so we're just going to entire feature we aren't available for all of them except the start menu because the others aren't supported with Windows 10 except update. But I don't want to update, I don't want to tick that one as well. Install. And look, because I've already done it before, it's been like it's already done it for me, but you're gonna have to do it so. I'm going to guide you through that. So what you need to do is go start right click on the start button, go settings. And then you need to click show all settings. So yours will be like this. Go show all settings and then go to the customized taskbar which is here. Oh no, sorry, that's the wrong one taskbar here then you want to go to texture and then you want to go to the same you need to go to the same folder on the desktop I, I would copy this folder into documents first actually so copy it into your documents so you always have it somewhere safe where it's not going to go missing All right, and then click on XP taskbar repeat open that Horizontal stretching set to tile. But to go and start menu style and go classic with two columns. Then go to menu look, I mean skin, go full glass and put less transparent and edit it so it looks like mine with the things in the top corner and you've got it like Windows XP. Click OK and it should make this blue. Then you want to do the same thing but for the start button. So you go replace start button, customize button, you go, yep, same place, open for XP button.png, button size, I set to do 180, whatever fits it. Uh, actually, I think it might be a 150 fit. If you go OK, and look, it's nice and flush with the bottom. 
and that's what we want now let's change the desktop background I'm going to set it to a picture and to that same photo to that same photo that we that's in the folder that you've copied into your documents folder I hope so yeah so look XP desktop background this is a 4k background picture show it will look good and even the newest computers and do the same for your lock screen set it to a picture the one provided in the pack lock like that and it should come up like that next time you start your computer right now we've done that we can head over and start doing the sounds and curses so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the XP cursors to Windows. Now yeah, we're doing cursors first. Yep, yeah. cursors, Windows cursors, and just copy the folder into here. Continue. Yeah, I'm just going to call it XP. No, cancel that away. Yeah. XP like that. And how we get to the cursor menu is you go personalize themes theme settings change mouse pointers. Right, so for each one you've got to find the corresponding Windows XP cursor. So normal select go in Windows XP and uh, it is just normal arrow like that as you can see open and you go through each one of these each one each one until you have them all set up like me click apply and you have it done like that label pointer shadow I think it looks makes it look better to do that so you go through each one Click it, click apply, and we do the same thing for the sounds. Copy XP sounds, local disk, Windows, media, paste in this folder. Go and rename that XP. Continue. Yeah, and we change the sound settings by doing this. Personalize themes, advanced sound settings and you have each one so what you do is exactly the same you go browse and you go browse to the corresponding one so for asterisk I think it will just be exclamation because XP didn't have that same name so what I do is critical stop and if you listen it's part of the same so you do the same for all of them if you can find it in that folder I've given you, test it, as you can hear. Make sure you, you click play Windows startup sound because we're going to need that later. Look, all of them. Click apply like normal. And then, what we've got to do now is go. Right click on there, go themes personalize then themes then theme settings and then what we can do you can set a screen save from Windows XP you can download somewhere else what we're going to do I'm going to save the theme and we'll call it XP like this and there we have it Windows XP just a few things to mention before we do it so go back to personalize go to colors and set that dark blue kind of well that light blue kind of colour same colour as that which is that yeah that one there so I think it's that one yep and when you're doing the sound settings and all that like this so sounds you can always save as as well so you don't when you need to change back you have to do go through each one over and over again so just make sure those sounds are saved in that cursor fold in that sound folder 
in the media folder in the Windows directory and the cursors in the cursor like that and just make sure you've got the Windows XP folder that I've given you saved in the document folder because then you've got it nice and safe like I have Windows XP in here bang I've got everything right and right, finally we're just gonna have to change the startup sound so what we do startup sound changer I've given you exe don't worry it's not a virus and what we do is we replace click replace now <coughs> go to that folder the windows directory so if we go to this PC and I go down to local disk windows media windows XP that you've copied startup sound so what we need is that start startup not start start is different windows XP startup click open it will play as a test now that's done remember you can press you can restore any of this which is highlighted in the instructions which I'll give you now click exit and that my friends is it I'll now show you a recording of it starting up and you should hear some sounds in it okay thank you please comment like and subscribe